Is your school truly embracing all forms of feedback? Now, it costs nothing to embrace better forms of feedback. The wisdom of all our experiences in the classroom is broad and complex. So why are we still fixated on written feedback? Is it right that verbal feedback is often overlooked in some of our classrooms? Is it right that some teachers are asked to evidence verbal feedback? And is it right that some of us do not know how to evidence non-verbal feedback? So of course written feedback has a place, but so do many others. We need a broader, more sophisticated approach to feedback, not just isolated by the subjects we teach, or in certain schools, or by our own teacher experiences. And I think neglecting a wider view of feedback is essentially ignoring other key aspects of our teaching expertise. There's nothing more transformative than refined feedback methods. It's astonishing um, how it remains uh, untapped in many schools that I visit. So I want to help. So in my new research guide to feedback, I want you to click the link, shape the teaching game, click this link and let your insights help us all to rethink formative assessment.